Hey everybody, I'm Dave Lewick, the Trapper Guy. I'm a nuisance wildlife trapper in the Tampa Bay area of Florida, and today I'm gonna to be talking about three ways to get rid of raccoons fast. Now, by getting rid of them fast, I hope you guys aren't expecting me to give you some secret formula for a repellent, because guess what? For raccoons, repellents don't work. I tell all my customers that if repellents actually work for raccoons, I would be out of a job. Now, most of the repellents on the market are made up of mothballs, if you give them a sniff, it's a dead giveaway. And mothballs work great on moths, and they probably would work on raccoons. If you put a dump truck forth in your yard, you probably won't have any raccoons in there. But you'll also be asphyxiated because of all the heavy chemicals that are in those mothballs. Now instead of trying to add things to get rid of raccoons in your yard, the trick is, is to subtract the things that attract the raccoons to your yard in the first place. Now the number one thing you have to subtract from your property is a food source. Raccoons eat almost everything. So you have to make sure there's not any kind of extra food sources on the outside that's gonna attract them. Now if you have fruit trees out there, um, you don't have to get rid of your fruit trees, but you don't want any of the fruit, the ripe fruit that's lying on the ground that's gonna be easy picking. So keep those sorts of things cleaned up. Also trash cans. Um, you wanna make sure those are secure or keep them inside your garage before the raccoons can get to it and open them up and make a big mess. Now you definitely don't wanna leave any pet food outside. Pet food has to be the number one food source for raccoons in a neighborhood. So you really shouldn't be feeding your pets outside anyhow, but if you do, make sure you take those plates, even if they're completely empty inside, because just the smell on those plates will bring in raccoons. And just hopefully you're not living next door to the crazy cat lady who's feeding them every day. Now another source of food on the outside that some people don't even think about is compost piles. Now I know your hippie uncle who's into organic gardening says that kitchen scraps in your compost makes great compost. And he's probably right, but it also will bring in raccoons and rats and other type of rodents like that. So if you're having a problem with raccoons and you want to get rid of them, make sure you just have yard clippings and leaves and stuff like that in your compost pile. Now the next thing you have to get rid of in your yard is shelter. Raccoons need a place to sleep during the day and they also need at certain times of year a place to nest and have babies and just to feel secure. So the main place you want to look at is of course your house. You want to make sure all your soffit areas, crawl spaces, things like that don't have any gaps where they can get into. Also in your yard, if you have things like palm trees, um, really thick areas that maybe need to be trimmed up, um, that will be areas where they can nest. So if you don't have those areas, then they're gonna move on to other areas. Also, if you have any structures in your backyard, like say if you have an old shed, you wanna keep that locked up pretty tight so raccoons can't get in there. That's provided your hippie uncle's not living back in there. Hey man, this is uncool. Uh, Check down, hippie. Hey, all right, man, cool ranch. Now the third thing you want to get rid of in your yard to get rid of raccoons is a water source. Now you don't want to have any bird baths, uh, you don't want to have any standing water anywhere, which of course in this area of Florida you want to have for mosquitoes anyhow. Um, and then you also have swimming pools, which of course you can't get rid of that, and they also like pooping in those pools. And unfortunately, I don't have a good answer for you for that. So you're probably going to have to call a professional like me to trap and have that raccoon removed um, because some of the things you see, like those floating alligator heads, they're just not going to work on a raccoon. Raccoons are too smart. They might work on some of the less intelligent species, but they're certainly not going to work on a raccoon. Hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and also hit the notification bell and you're going to see a lot more videos like this coming up.